Hey guys, me again. Uh, Johnny Depp came back. So go back a couple of videos, have a look at the idiot, idiot compilation that's got Johnny Depp in the thumbnail wearing the hat. Excuse the plane going overhead. So I read back a little bit. So he goes, I told you earlier, I only created this profile to keep an eye on my fan page. And this my first talk of chatting with a fan online. I guess you're a lucky person. I'm not always here due to my privacy and I will deactivate this profile soon. To which I responded, yes, I have now asked you thrice where you wish to move to. If you will not read correctly, then I'm unable to reply to your satisfaction. To which our idiot, who wasn't reading anyway, said, Unfortunately, I only use Telegram right now. It's very private, been using it for months, and have not had a problem with it. Dot, 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 dot. To which I responded to, Well, we have then come to an unfortunate impasse, as Telegram is the number one platform utilised by nefarious people for the purposes of dishonest intent. Oh, well, say la vie, as you would say, as Johnny's... Uh, you know, absolutely fluent in French. So then, if you guys recall, he sends this Telegram link, which obviously I wasn't going to do it. T just text me up there, he said. So I said, so still you are not reading or comprehending what I'm scribing here. Well, I'm unable to accommodate you, so I bid you adieu. To which he said, so we can continue our conversation there. I said, the lack of any sort of comprehension is now becoming tiresome and it lends credence to my earlier point, which you are also unable to discern. So I repeat myself, say la vie and adieu, monsieur. Make better choices with your life and you'll find it less tedious and full of reward. I thought he'd crawl away, but no. Six, oh, well, five o'clock this morning. Hello, says my Johnny. I said, good morning. How was your night? Hope you are doing good. I said, I'm rested and proceeding to work shortly. I'm assuming you had a slow day. To which the idiot, love hearts. Sounds good. What are you up to? Said our usual scammer not reading. I said, I'm crawling on the carpet backwards to see how much static I can create and if it'll light the lamp. So I guess that's a yes to you having a slow da day then. As observant as usual, I see. That's good, came the idiot's reply. To which I said, I see you are slapdash as always uh, to comprehending what you're conversing about. To which he responds, I'm giving out a lucky dollar, dollar, dollar to some of my lucky fans out there. Dot, 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 dot. I said, are you now? I believe you actually have to have some funds to be able to donate. But sarcasm and irony going right over his head. I guess you are a lucky one, comma, 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 comma. Are you interested? I guess you are busy, right? I don't know if he was hoping or what. Was it I'm not going to participate in becoming some funnel for your nefarious purposes, nor do I require an imaginary cash injection from someone who themselves are not in fact fiscally stable. And in response to, I guess you are busy, right? I said, given that you know nothing about me or where I am or what I do, the presumption of that statement speaks volumes. And completely not understanding anything I'm saying, he resorts to, are you interested? To which I said, are you fully reading and comprehending what is being communicated to you? And how would this imaginary transaction proceed, given that the possibility of me sharing any of my banking details with someone random are about the same as the earth developing on some, uh, earth being on some elephants? Please answer my concerns and questions. And then he sort of sat there for a while. I'm assuming he was trying to figure out what I was saying. So I thought I'd bait him a bit more and... In response to, are you interested, I just went, sure, sure, which he understood, let's face it, and came back with, I was just actually doing this to help people because I know how it feels when someone is struggling to survive. I don't say you are suffering, though, but I just decided to help because the Bible says givers never lack and no one can reward me for being kindness except God, dot, 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 <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. I said, that's very fascinating, as I'm sure that I'm fiscally stabler than you will ever be, but let's proceed and see what you, we can uncover of this. And then I said, and the Ten Commandments are very specific about certain things, which I feel that you may have been remiss in remembering, which the idiot thumbed up, because he had no idea what I was saying. I'm giving out $5,000 to three of my lawyer fans today, dot, dot, dot. 
oh, what will I do? I'm not a lawyer. So I said, yes, thumbs up is good. And fans of your lawyer. I said, then kindly send out any requisite documentation. Notarize. And in response to fans of your lawyer, our absolute pumpkin said, yeah, because if, uh, if not for you guys and God, I wouldn't have made it this far. God bless you, dot, 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 resorting to the usual bullshit. And in response to yes, I said, who is your lawyer and why does he have fans? To which our potato said, how long have you been a fan? I said, is it Alan Dershowitz? We'd cross-posted. And in response to how long have you been a fan, I said, we have already discussed this. Well, you've spoken at me without full comprehension of what I've written. Please send out all documentation with notarization." I repeated. Oh, I see, said our scammer, who really didn't see at all. I said, I'm going on the assumption that you fully read and absorbed our scintillating conversation thus far. Dot, 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 dot. What's your PayPal link? Share me your PayPal link so I can make your payment immediately. And I'm sure it goes without saying, guys, please do not send your PayPal details to anyone online. I said, I'm afraid I'm not familiar with this PayPal of which you speak. I'll take it in gift cards, thanks. And then as he was trying to read that, I said, please take a photo and send me the link on the back if you're set on your altruistic pursuit or send me your lawyer's details. To which he said, it will be difficult for me to send money to the bank. Don't you have a PayPal? Dot, 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 dot. Because obviously he can't send anything. I said, I do not know what this PayPal is which you speak of. I'll take a check. You may FedEx me a check. And naturally, I'll need to speak with you before sending you any personal details, but I'm sure you're prepared for this. To which he says, I prefer to make all my payments through PayPal, because that's how I'm sure the real Johnny Depp does all his payments. I said, an intelligent, mature man as yourself. Oh, well, give it to someone who needs it then. I have plenty of money, thanks, donated in my name, which... I figured would get his attention. So he goes back and reads a little. And in response to me saying, naturally, I'll need to speak with you. He says, excuse me, do you realize you're talking to Johnny Depp right now? To which I said, you already asked me this. And I responded in the appropriate way. Read back the chat. Are you an arrogant and vain man? I find that incredibly distasteful, like your lack of simple comprehension. And then I thought I'd have more of a go at him. I said, and why do you refer to yourself in the third person? Which I find really, 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 ugh. And in response to, are you an arrogant and vain man? He says, don't be silly. Tongue in cheek emoji, ugh. I said, you sound like one. I like my men humble. Now, the reason he unsent a message was because he had sent me a fake ID. I was on my way to work and I couldn't grab a a screenshot. I just glanced it from the corner of my eye. So I said very quickly, I didn't see it. Please resend. I was in the car with the phone open, but when I looked down, you deleted whatever it was. Well, he says, you see, it hurts me when people doubt me or don't believe me. Formally, it makes me withdraw from carrying out my intentions, which makes me sad afterward, dot, dot, dot. I said, I have no idea what you're going on about. Are you getting your chats mixed up? It's clear you aren't reading. At which point he sent the photo. And I had to move very quickly, guys, so I apologise for this. So this was the only way I could grab both photos, because there were both, but I did manage to get a shot of um, one of them. So I'll show you that now. So he'd sent me a French ID or a license and then an American one. And I'll give you guys a a chance to have a look. Um, Mind you, Christopher Depp 11. So that was where his massive mistake was. So pause it if you like. So after he'd sent that, I said, why are you sending me a license? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Please be aware that I am not a fake person, okay, said my scammer, who I had in a roundabout way obviously accused of being a fake, but I hadn't outright said it, right? And I figured he was a bit stupid. 
I said, who said you were in response to be, please be aware that I'm not a fake person? I said, again, you're not reading or comprehending. I was fine until you mentioned it. and Now I'm doubtful. Way to shoot yourself in the foot. I said, not that you were doing so well before. Just read the chat back. I just assumed you were new at this. That's all. But thanks for the license. I'll treasure it forever. Right. And then he was still active, but wasn't chatting to me. So I said, not a terrible job on the licenses, but you messed up a couple of things, which will make it hard for you to get clients to remit. But maybe you'll learn. And that got his attention. Learn what? He said. I said, oh, you'll see. Unless you're having tons of success with this, of course. To which he said, did you believe in your dream and in God? Nonsensically. And in response to not a terrible job on the licenses, I would like to learn, please said my very eager, very young and new scammer. I said, and what is my dream? And no, I'm not religious. Oh, I see, he says, seeing his chance to beg on the mercy of God for money going out the window. And again, showing where I'd said not a terrible job on the licenses. I would like to learn. Please, prayer hands, I'm waiting. Please tell me what is it that you require from me? my scammer pretty much blowing it. I said, I'm not helping you become a better scammer. That's insane. Now, it's been eight hours since he's been active. Um, admittedly, it's coming on to morning in Nigeria, so we shall see. So that's the end of that one. Oh, by the way, Keanu, the absolute nonsensical one, has hit me up on Google Chat. But oh, Google Chat, once you get them there, they just kind of lose interest. So we'll see how that one goes. Um, more videos coming. Have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Talk to you guys later. Bye.